What's up guys, we are out on Pool 8 today, doing a little post-spawn walleye fishing. River's still really high and the water is ripping. We're gonna see if we can find some calmer stuff to catch some fish in. This might be a little fast right here. I'm just gonna try drifting here for a minute. Drift and cast, drift and cast to allow me to get the jig to the bottom much easier. And I'll be able to cover some fish on. First cast, drifting, clobbered it. Nice, looks like a smallmouth. Oh, big white bass. Nope, smallmouth. Really nice smallmouth. That's a good looking fish right there guys. Got that on the liquid willow cat fluke. A quarter ounce jig. That's a beautiful fish, great start. Looks like it's gonna be an awesome day. That quarter ounce isn't staying down very good. I'm gonna put on a, uh, I'm gonna try a three eighths. All right, we're all set. The heavier jig. The camera's rolling. Now oh, we got fish to catch. There I got one. I'm gonna find out what these fish are. I've been getting little nibbles down there. I was gonna say probably perch. What it is. Bad perch. So we got some perch down there getting hit a lot. I can downsize my presentation and might be able to catch a few of them here. Oh, I got dumped there. Oh. White bass. Well, we're working on a multi-species bite now. That's three different fish. Three different species. Go. Second fish. He just crushed it. <laughs> Might ask, why did I fish this spot? Well, this is where the current comes off the main the main flow coming under the dam this is where the current hits the shoreline and then splits some of it's going that way some of it's going that way and where oh there's another bite and wherever it splits the water has to slow down some because it's it's changing direction so so wherever you find that split is always going to hold some fish because the current is usually just right and it's also a perfect place for them to sit and bait fish get piled up against the shoreline as that water pushes into the trees there. So I'm just using this fluke 3 8 ounce uh, jig head and I'm just casting out. I'm trying to get it to hang right around the bottom. At least that's where those, those two fish were. Fish. Fish on. We got another perch here. This one feels like a good one. Oh, little white bass. White bass. When you get bigger, this will be a blast. After putzing around below the dam, I ventured downriver in search of a new bite. Fish. Fish on. What do we have? 
So it's a walleye. First walleye of the day. Species number four. Smoked that jig. Looks like I'm gonna need a new plastic on there. Nice looking walleye. Well guys, it decided to rain. I'm back down to one camera here. We got the flow coming in through the woods here. And I just caught a small walleye. I've had a couple other hits here. There's one fish on. Smashed it. The white bass. Should have known when he smashed it that hard that it was a white bass. Nice fish. The rain has stopped, which is a nice thing. I got cold. It is not a warm day today. Our water temperature here is 52 degrees. The air temperature probably isn't much more than that. I'm downstream of an island that is creating a nice convergence of two different flows over a wing dam. This current seam looks perfect and should be holding fish. Fish. Been a long time coming. The spot looks amazing. I just have not been able to pick up anything. I just tagged a pretty nice walleye here. So maybe that's a sign. Mm, fat one. Must be eating good down there. What a chunk. That was fun. Keep them coming. Mm. There's one. Wow. Not sure what I hooked here. A sauger. Another species. It's species number five. Still unsatisfied with the action, I take a shortcut through the forest. This is just one of the benefits of fishing high water. I'm looking for yet another bite. Pelicans are sitting in the woods, which is not normal pelican behavior. So there must be a bunch of fish in there. We're gonna poke around in here for a minute, see what happens. See the spillway is full of water. The pelicans are trying to get out of here. Fish on. Oh, he's off. Might have snagged him. bunch of fish in there. So I keep hooking them, but I think I'm snagging them. I like to get one in to see what they are. I just threw a crawler out. Another one. This one's coming in. This one might have bit it. Cheap head. Sheepy. Oh yeah. Species number six. He 
sheep. Maybe I'll we'll throw him in the live wall for bait later. Just in case. You never know when you might want some cut bait out. Fish on this worm. The worm I put out is hooked up. What did we get this time? Another sheep's. Sheep's number two. I find the spillway is loaded with rough fish. I catch several drum and a nice sized common carp that is destined for the smoker. Hello? Hey, you fishing? Yeah. It sounded like a little windy. Here? Yeah, so I figured you were fishing. By the spillway. What are you fishing for? Whatever, weights. Got a bunch of sheep head, got a couple of walleyes, some white bass, one smallmouth. Perch. Pants. <laughs> yeah, she can't stop eating. Got a fish on. Big carp. Big carp? Yeah, I gotta let you go. Alright, well, maybe see you tonight if you're not sleeping. Alright, talk to you later. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Guys, we got another species on. I was on the phone there with my wife. Get this guy in. Nice looking carp. Okay, that's a beautiful fish. You know what? Let me keep him and smoke him up. That's a good looking fish right there. Perfect size carp to keep. Damn. Yeah, smoke carp in a while. That's species number seven. Put him in here with our sheep head. I decide to change gears and try shallow backwaters in hopes of finding some pre-spawn bass or post-spawn pike. I find both. Fish. Fish on. Looks like a good one, guys. Good fish. Big old largey. Big old largey. Oh no, oh, he got off. That thing was a tank. I think that's our seventh, no, eighth species, largemouth bass. I'm up in real shallow, throwing a spinner bait. Been searching and searching, I finally caught a fish. It's a nice looking bass. I'll get him back. Well, that walleye outing turned into a multi-species day. No complaints here. May and June are great months to chase everything that swims in the Mississippi River. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>